called a side lock. It's because they have these locks in the side of the gun, hence the name side lock. Now these locks, so-called, uh, to the average person just looks like a couple of plates. But on the inside of this plate, there are some working parts. Now, some of them are quite extensive and quite complicated little parts. Now, all of them have this, virtually the same parts in there. They have a hammer, they have a sear, or a main sear, they have an intercepting sear, which is on top of the main sear. They have a sear spring and an intercepting sear spring. Some people call it a safety sear and a safety sear spring. And, and the, the whole lot is held to the plate by a little flat piece called a bridle. Now, these bridles are all very often in, in fancy shapes. Some, this, this one, for instance, has a little piece cut out, like a decorative piece cut out of the bridle. It kind of looks nice and, you know, to somebody looking at it, they think, oh, that's, that's pretty, but it serves no purpose, it's just decoration. Now, on the front of the lock, in this case, on the front, they do. There is a mainspring, and the mainspring is the, the the part that transfers power to the hammer to fire the gun. Now, the ha the mainspring is connected to the hammer by a little thing called a swivel. Now, you can you can hardly see the thing, uh, but if it was ta if it was taken out of the gun it would look, look, look something like this. It has a, a peg like that. It has two pegs, one there, one there. And it's quite a, it's quite a n nice shape. It's, it's shaped that way. It has, more, it's, it has more depth through there to give it strength. And it's cut away there and there so that the, it'll, the mainspring will fit on it and so, it'll, so it can fit into the hammer with that end. And looking at the other, the other side of it, it has two pegs like that here either side, a center portion, and another peg on that end, just like that, looking at the sideways on. And that's a, a thing called a swivel. There are people who do call them other names. I've heard them called toggles and all kinds of things, but the real name is a swivel. They do break. And uh, it's quite a job to, to make these little things. They have to be, the, if, if, you, if you have to replace one, you've got to get the length from, from the one peg to the other peg exactly right. If you get it too long, it won't work. Or what will happen, it will work, but the end, the mainspring and the swivel will hang over the edge of this pl lock plate and it'll bang on the wood underneath the lock plate there and crack the wood. It'll crack the wood away if it's too long. If it's too, if it's too short, then what will happen? The lock won't cock because it'll, the, the swivel will be choking on the underside of the hammer. You won't be able to cut the lock like that because it'll be choking. So they have to be exactly right. And I've got here an old, just been brought in, an old pinfire hammer gun lock. 
and it's all, it's, uh, uh, it's similar to a, a modern side lock, lock in that you've got the spring inside, but instead of having the hammer inside, you've got the hammer outside. Inside, you've got a piece called the tumbler, which is connected to the hammer on the outside. It has a bridle, a very ornamental bridle compa in comparison to the, the modern side lock. It has a sear and a sear spring. It doesn't have an intercepting sear. It doesn't need one because it has a safety feature. It's as a half cock. If it's pulled into half cock, the sear goes into a deep bent or notch in the in the tumbler and you can't fire it. The only way you could fire it would be by breaking the sear, the nose of the sear off. If that was in the gun you wouldn't be able to fire it in half cock. It's a safety feature. So that is the old type lockers found in pin fires and not very old ha breech loaded hammer guns. There's, here's another one here, which is a, from a hammer gun. It's a cheaper grade, it's a real na cheap, nasty affair. Here's the one from the other side of the same gun. The, the spring's been taken out and used for, for, for something else. But this one still has the hammer on. Um, now, you'll notice that these locks uh, th these locks are different, different shape. Now, that that is a bar spring lock because the the main spring is underneath this extended portion at the front, which is called the bar of the lock. Now that goes in what into what we call the bar of the action. This is the bar of the action along here. So. This would be, if this was a hammer gun, it would be a bar spring lock. If it, but with a side, with a side lock, we just call it a bar, a bar lock, or and the spring is at the front. Now, you can have some of these locks like this with the bar, but they'll have this this main spring up here at the back. Now, the 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 idea behind that is to uh, give more more strength to the this part of the action. In other words, the bar of the action, because it doesn't have to be milled out to take the spring. It doesn't have to be milled out to take the spring. So it gives it more strength in the bar of the action. Now, those type of locks with the with the spring at the back are used to be used more in double rifles and heavy, heavy load guns like pe what we used to call pigeon guns that were chambered to take three inch cartridges. And so if you see one with a spring at the back here instead of the front, it is a back spring lock. Um, Another thing with these things, the main spring will sometimes break and the, 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 you'll never find two springs the same. You, can, and very, you can't take a spring out of one lock and put in another lock. Unless of course it was exactly the same, is that made exactly the same. So you've got to make them. And like, like I covered in making a lever spring, the, the, the method is it's very similar, but you have to make a claw on the end of the spring. I had one somewhere. You have to make a claw on the end of the spring and shape, shape the front end of the spring, and it's a lot more work.